Okay, this is going to show you how to do the hair, but the one thing I forgot to show you how to do in the other one is basically, okay, I have the hair selected, ignore it, but you just click on the little eyeball to make the manga layer invisible. You click one of the um, skin layers and just go to merge visible, shift control E, and that'll make them all on one layer like I have here. Okay, so hair, make a new layer. Um, I already showed you how you're going to do this if you just, you know, do it really messy and you're not worried about the lines. Well, if you want to do it, um, clean it up, f um, skip the cleaning up part, just outline it right away. I have it selected and now I'm just going to fill it with the hair color I want, which is going to be a brown. Okay, and that's all you have to do for that. And then you just make the layers on top, which we're going to do now. First, I like to do shading. Obviously, there is going to be some places where you're going to shade. Like right here, you can see there's um, some gray where I'm obviously going to have to add some shading. But the rest of it is kind of up to you. Now, there are a couple ways you can do this. You know, pick a color, darken it, new layer. Um, I'll just do this little part here. Just color it in, either on normal multiply, linear burn. If you're doing darker colors like I am, you're going to need to um, lower the opacity a bit. But that's not the way I, I like to do it. I like to just be lazy and use black on uh, soft light or overlay. For this, overlay is just turning out so dark. I'm just going to use soft light. Even then, I'm going to lower the opac um, opacity a little bit. And you can either just go in here manually, and feel free to go outside the lines. I'm going to show you how to cl clean that up later. Uh, like this. You know, pick out where you want it. Or, let me delete this. Make a new layer. Go click the mango layer. And I like to go to the eyes and use a magic wand tool. And the eyes are usually the parts that are going to have the most concentrated black. And you click, click it once, and then you right click, similar, similar, but similar. You notice it's outlining all the dark. Um, keep doing it. Okay, that was a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna do step backward. Then go back to the new layer we made, and this is where we're gonna fill it in. But first, you need to select the hair color base layer. And hold down the Alt key and click somewhere off of the hair. And that'll... You might have to do the top, too. Okay, so that makes it so it just selects any selection we had on the hair. And then you can go in... Um, you can get the polygon last, so that one has a right-click fill. Like that. And it looks kind of bad right now. You can just go to the smudge tool over here, which is the same area as the blur tool. Um, now we're going to pick out a kind of rugged looking brush. I can't remember the one I used from my other tutorials, but just click the little arrow there and go through these. I'm going to try the fox finish brushes, append. Yeah, these look decent. So I'm just going to pick one that looks really, really rugged. Like, um, well, just, like, go through them and find one that looks rugged. Grungy. Alright. Um, I'm going to do this about 15 pixels, and then you just smudge back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This one's soft light so I can see better. Might have to lower the strength a bit. You can also use um, finger painting to add some more color if you need it. And you can just keep smudging this until you get the look you want. And it doesn't work as well on, you know, like curly hair like I have here. It works best for relatively straight hair where you can do like an up and down motion. And this is like the quickest way to get your shadows in. I mean, they're not going to look the best, but they are going to be really, really easy. So I'm just going to blur it just a little bit more. 
Blur, blur, blur. A little smudge, actually. You can also blur it. Get out the blur tool. Blur, blur, blur. Blah, blah, blah. Ha. And you know, before and after. I like the look of going in and doing it um, with the polygon lasso tool for hair. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I'm done with the shading, except for it's a little sharp, like you can see. Um, it can look really, really good if you're very precise about the sharp, um, where you put it. I'm not that precise, so I'm going to use the, like it, it's a Gaussian, Gaussian blur? I just still don't know. Um, just blur it. I'm about 2.5, I'm happy with. Or you can go to the highlights next. And yet again, you can either use a lighter color, um, a normal soft light overlay, or a white on soft light overlay, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, basically, you're gonna. Here's a little bit different than the skin because it, um, there's more shadows in it. Basically, a big chunk of hair like this would have a highlight, highlight, highlight. So you can just watch where I'm putting them. You can get the hang of it after doing it a, f a few times. Okay, now I got the color down. I can either use the smudge tool. You had to get a nice grungy brush and just smudge it into place. This is most effective, again, when you have, like, straight hair. Uh, or you can just, uh, blur it. Use the two together. Then you're gonna probably want to lower the opacity a bit so it doesn't seem too... too bright. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the manga and skin layers or whatever other layers you have invisible so you can better see uh, what you're doing. Click on the hair base color, use the magic wand tool and select somewhere off of the hair. And just go similar to make sure you have everything. And go to any shadow layers you've done, click delete. Any highlight layers you've done, click delete. And that's just how you clean it up. Select, deselect, and make the others visible again. Okay. And make them invisible again, and then merge visible to get them all on one layer. And one thing that's really popular is to use a uh, hair shine. And you can either do this with, um, you know, just the brush. You know, kind of draw on the hair. And then smudge it. And then blur it a bit. And then you can fiddle with, you know, the settings, light and screen, normal. Um, you want it pretty still white looking, just lower the opacity, but you can see that's one way to get it. You know, yet again, just... I uh, use the magic wand tool to select everything but the hair and get rid of the excess. Or you can just use the dodge tool. Set to highlights. I'd say use a pretty low strength for this and just build it up. You know, start with highlights. Kind of gives that warm look and then go to shadows, which will make it white. 